Cool. So lesson 22, we will divide three and four digit dividends by two digit divisors, resulting in two and three digit quotients. Reasoning about the decomposition of successive remainders in each place value. Okay. So basically what this part means right here, okay, reasoning about the decomposition of successive, blah, 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 blah. That just means the numbers that are coming down on our problem, right? When we bring something down, that's what that means. So successive remainders means just breaking down the number um, for each place value, okay? So that's kind of what we're, what we're working with, all right? Lily? No, 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 no. That'll be with decimals and stuff. We're not there yet. But, um, yeah, we won't. We probably won't do that until later this week or next week. Okay. So, all right. Um, so let's review kind of what we've been doing, okay? So um, this is a review of last week. So we have a number. Uh, remember, our, our numbers in our problem are getting more and more unfamiliar, right? Um, like, I don't look at this problem and know automatically how many times 57 goes into 128. I, I don't know that off the top of my head, right? But I can use estimating and rounding to kind of help me out, right? So in my head, I should be rounding this to something that can be divisible by this number, right? So I can round my divisor in my head first, because if we're thinking about the standard algorithm, that divisor is going into my dividend, right? So I have to look at it and be like, okay, I got to estimate how many times this guy's going into that guy, right? So um, it helps to round the divisor first. So 57 is pretty close to what number? 100. 57? 60. 60. 60. 60. 60. Okay. So 60. Closer. Yeah, it's close to 58. Yeah. So it's pretty close to 60, right? Um, so using that, Using that, I can start thinking of my multiples of 60 to help me out, right? So what is 60 times 1? 60. 60, good. What's 60 times 2? 120. 120. Pausing, right? Then I should look at my dividend and be like, oh, my dividend is 128. So that's pretty close, right? So I could round my dividend to 120, okay? So about how many times do we think 57 is going to go into 128? Go. Two. Two. Let's try it. Let's try it. So 57 times 2. 2 times 7 is 14. 2 times 5 is 10. Plus 1 gives me 114. Okay. Can I fit another 57 in there without going over this number? No. No. Okay. So we're going to stick with 2. So 57 goes into 128. Two times. I'm going to pause the timer. Uh, would you just put that in your track, the 57 times 2? Yeah, you can. Yeah. Um, Brady? I have a question. So sure. We have okay. a, if, like, if you get 114, can you like, do like more than that and like, add it up to get 128 and that'd be your remainder? Um, sure, but you still need to show the work underneath, though. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, but you um, still got to show what's going on. Okay. Because that's how the standard algorithm goes, right? That's how we have to show the work underneath. Okay, um, Donnie? Are we still saying the single digit answers? No, remember our objective said um, two and three digit quotients. Oh. Okay, okay so our, our quotients are going to be pretty big today. Okay, yeah. but this is review of, of last week, right? I like so I got 114. So my next step is to subtract. So 8 minus 4 is 4. 2 minus 1 is 1. 1 minus 1 is 0. So my answer is 2, remainder 14. Mm -hmm. To check, I need to multiply what? Use the terminology, not the numbers, but use the terminology. What do I do to check? Olivia, what's the first part? Um, 57 times 2. Yeah, use the terminology, the vocab. So ignore the numbers. What, what is it that I... Multiply. What are they called? The divisor. Divisor. Good. The yes. Divisor times the quotient. So I got to do 57 times 2, which we know from our problem is 114. Okay. And then who can tell me what I do next? Uh, Lily, go ahead. Uh, JC, um, 57 times 2 is 57? No, that's this number here. Um, Um, well, 
we, we're not working with this guy as much. Um, it's something else that we got to look at. Henry, what do we do next? Um, you just add your remainder to that. Answer. Good. We add our remainder, right? So we multiply this times this to get 114, but then we got to add our remainder to, to our make dividend. sure that we get our dividend. Yeah. Okay? So we have to add them together to make sure that we get this number. Mm -hmm. So 4 plus 4 is 8. 1 plus 1 is 2. 1 plus 0 is 1. So did I get my dividend? Yeah. Yeah, which means I did my dividing correctly. Okay. Uh, Jackson, go ahead. Yeah. Questions on what we did last week no. on this review? Okay, you guys seem pretty solid on that, which is good. Okay? And that will help you with today. So again, just kind of pause. Um, you guys will join me on the next one. Okay? Um, so like always, I can still use this to kind of help. Um, can you go after Jackson? Um, I can use rounding to help me kind of estimate how many times my divisor is going to go into my dividend. Okay? Mm -hmm. So, divisor. Yep. Right here. Yep. Uh, dividend. Mm -hmm. It's right here. Say yes, I'll Okay? All right. So, again, I can round my divisor. Um, my divisor is pretty close to 20. So in my brain, in my brain, I can be thinking about okay, um, 17 is pretty close to 20, so I can use 20 to help me know how many times it's going to go into the divisor, right? Um, 590 is pretty close to 600, so I could round that in my head to 600, um, and I can think of how many times I would multiply 20 to get to 600. Um, so I know that I can multiply 20 times. Um, 30 to get 600. So 17 is probably going to go into 590 about 30 times. Notice how it's getting bigger already compared to the last problem we just did. We said it went in two times, right? Um, it went in two times, but our numbers are already getting bigger. So um, it's going to go in maybe close to 30 times, right? It's pretty wild. Um, Eddie, can you go after Kira? Um, uh, I think, since I was just thinking, like, since both of the numbers, like, you added them higher, mm -hmm. you, you already know that it would be 30. Mm -hmm. Yeah. You think you could just do, like, it, like, by like, 17 at first? I mean, 29? Yeah. So, that's a great point. Um, so, Henry said, since we rounded both of these numbers up pretty significantly, right, we rounded this one up by 10 digits, like, 10 numbers. Um or 10 digits, I guess, and then this one by three, right? So already um, it's going to be a lot higher. So yeah, we can use 30 as like a ballpark though, but Henry has a great point that since we rounded both of those numbers up, the amount of times that 17 is going to go into 590 is probably going to be slightly less than 30, right? Does everybody get that point? Class, does everybody get that point? Yes! Okay, great. If you don't, you need to raise your hand, okay? Uh, if you're distracted by something else, can you put it away? Let's look up here. Okay. I'm almost done. I promise you will join me in like three minutes. Okay. Just give me three minutes. All right. So, um, yeah. So just like we've been doing, I can set it up in the standard algorithm, the actual problem that I'm solving. So 590 divided by 17. Okay, and especially when you put it in that, it looks a little intimidating. But since we already kind of used the rounding to help us out, we're like, okay, let's try. So I'm going to pretend like Henry didn't say what he did earlier, although it was a very, very smart point. And I'll, I'll bring it back in. But let's say we didn't think about that. Like, let's say, okay, I knew that 20 went into 600 like 30 times. So we can start there if we want. Okay, and the reason I'm saying that instead of what Henry said is like, in case you need a, another, like, um, like benchmark, or like, I use ballpark a lot, but in case you need, like, another guesstimate, you can go with what you found originally, but if you want to try to be more accurate, consider how we round both of these numbers up, right? Um, so, yeah, can you go after Eddie? Yeah. Okay. Um, all right. So, 0 times 7 is 0. 0 times 1 is 0. What do I need? Place value holder. Place value holder, because I've got two digits that I'm multiplying by, right? So, 3 times 7 is 21. I got it, I got it. 3 times 1 is 3, plus 2 gives me 5. 
Okay, I add them together and I get 510, okay? So, um, did I do my multiplication right? Can you check me? I, yeah. Yeah. Okay. Um, so, this is where it gets interesting, right? Um, so, can I squeeze in at least one more 17 before going over 590? Yeah. Yeah, yeah right? So, um, so what Henry said is definitely true, and we want to consider that, right? Um, but it would be best to kind of use, like, our original ballpark, and then if it's too high, then that's okay. We can just lower it, right? Or in this case, we're going to have to go higher, right? So, again, thinking of 17, it's around 15 or 20, right? Think of how many copies of, like, you can use either 15 or 20, whatever you kind of gravitate best towards. Um, how many times, how many more times I can multiply 17 to get close to 590? Or you can add up to, think of the difference between 510 and 590, okay? Use that to help you. We're thinking about it. Okay. Um, how many of you are thinking only one more time? Like 17 times 31. How about two more times? How about three more times? Four more times? Okay. Four. Okay. Okay. All right, cool. Most of you went with four. Anyone say five? I kind of sort of. Okay, let's start with four. So four more times would be 17 times what? 34. 34. So let's try it. Whew. See where the trial and error comes into play now, right? We try a number. If it's too far away, that's okay. We try another number. If it, We try a number, and if it's too high, that's okay. We try another number, right? So, again, you're going to have to have increased patience, okay, with yourself and with the problem, all of that. So just keep that in mind, okay? So 4 times 7 is 28. 4 times 1 is 4. Plus 2 gives me 6. Place value holder. 3 times 7 is 21. 3 times 1 is 3. Plus 2 gives me 5. Okay. 8 plus 0 is 8. 6 plus 1 is 7. 5 plus 0 is 5. Okay. Hold on. Think about it, though. So 578 from 578 to 590. Don't say it. Find the difference between those. How many more would you need to add to 578 to get to 590? Don't say it. I know. I'm just I'm giving you a second to think. Oh, they said oh. Oh, I thought I Oh. Oh, yeah. Okay. How much more do I have to add to 578 to get 590? Go. Wow. Wow. Well, right? So can I squeeze another 17 in there? No. 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 Okay. So 17 goes into 590 how many times? 34. 34 times. Whoa. Okay. All right. So this is the important bit. I need you to see this. Everybody needs to see this. Everybody look up here. I'll wait until everybody's looking at the board. I'm still waiting. Everybody needs to look at the board. Come on, Pete. Okay. Awesome. Since it's two digits, our quotient is now two digits. The last digit of the quotient needs to go over the last digit of your dividend. Okay? So, some of you are going to be tempted to write 34 over here. That's incorrect. Okay? Because right there you're saying that 17 goes into 59 34 times, okay, which isn't true, right? 17 times 34 is, as we've seen, a lot bigger, right? So you need to make sure that you're writing it in the correct place value, okay? So 17 goes into 590 34 times, okay? Everybody see what I'm getting at there? Mm -hmm. yeah. Where you write it matters, so you've got to be super careful, okay? Um, what was 17 mm. times 34? Go. 578. 578. Okay, so I divided 
I just multiplied. What's my next step? Go. Subtract. Subtract. Good. Can I take 8 away from 0? No. No. So I gotta borrow. So I take 1 away from the 9. That gives me 8 in the tens place. That 1 that I steal comes over to the 1s. Explodes into 10. Adds to what I already have there. So 10 plus 0 is 10. 10 minus 8 is 2. 8 minus 7 is 1. 5 minus 5 is 0. Now, do I have anything else to bring down? No. no. Can 17 go into 12 at all? No. No. So my answer is 34, remainder 12. Okay. All right, Brady. Um, couldn't you just do how many times is 14 going to 59? Uh, 17? Yeah, how many times is 17 going to 59? Yeah, so I was going to say that next. Um, so, yeah, well, first of all, any questions on this? Like what I just did. Okay, last thing I'm going to say that I'm glad Brady brought up um, is, yes, technically you can break it down, okay, into smaller numbers and do it in multiple steps, okay? And that's something that we're going to work towards, um, but feel free to do it now. But the reason I um, did it this way, Brady, is because of our estimation, okay? Um so Brady's question was, and I'm actually going to erase this real quick, okay? Um, Brady's question was, if I have the standard algorithm, okay, 590 divided by 17, can't I just look at how many times 17 goes into 20, or 59? Absolutely, okay? So you can break it up by place value, right? And this is something that, again, we're going to work towards, especially when we do um, dividing decimals. So we can kind of play like the place value game. So does 17 go into 5? No. No. Does 17 go into 59? Yes. Yeah. Use your estimation, right? 17 is close to what? 20. 20. 59 is close to what? 60. 60. So how many times does 20 go into 60? 3. 3, right? So 17 can go into 59 probably about 3 times, right? And then we can check. 17 times 3. Okay, 3 times 1 is 3, plus 2 gives me 51. Okay, so then 51. 9 minus 1 is 8. 5 minus 5 is 0. Bring down the 0. Okay, and then 17 goes into 80 how many times? 4. 4. We know that from doing the problem before, right? But in your head, you should be like, okay, 17 goes into 80. Hmm, 20 goes into 80 about 4 times, so should be somewhere around there, right? Um, so then 17 times 4, and we get 68, okay, and then we need to borrow, okay, um, so still 34, remainder 12, which is good, okay, um, so does everybody see the difference between what I just did and the one we did before? Yes. yes. Where we look at, we're looking at the number, we're breaking it apart by place value, okay, you are welcome to do either, okay? So you can break it up by place value like I just did, or you can look at it as a whole, but just make sure that your estimating is accurate, okay? Um, yes? So okay. at some point, you have to, like, um, look at it as a whole, because, like, what if it's, like, uh, say 59, but it's, like, 37? Or, no, not 37, like, 62, but it's, like, um, 590. Do you mean like if, like which number was 62? Like say, okay, say here's a problem. It's like um, we were to, that's a very good question. So sometimes you do have to keep it as a whole, like 673, right? And this is one of those examples. So can 82 go into 6? No. Can 82 go into 67? No. And then, yes, 82 can go into 673, right? So yeah, that is one of those places where you're going to have to keep it a whole. Um, so I'll just, um, yeah, Jackson? Yeah. All right. Any other questions? Okay, can you get out your, um, no, 
Hold on. <coughs> Let me think. Um, can you, yeah, can you get out your notebook and a pencil? Oh, I'm sorry. Fifth grade stops. Put everything away. And look at me. Try that one more time. Take out your notebook and a pencil. October 25th. Right, thank you for doing that quietly and respectfully. I appreciate it. Okay, and once you're done with the top part, go ahead and write to the problem. So just write it like this, 887 divided by 27. divided by 27. We're going to do this one together and then I'll have you do one on your own after this, okay? Yes, Lily. You're going to have to do the check on the homework, so if you want to okay, write in your notebook. I yeah. do these little like bubble things, so I know like which two Um, I don't know if you can tell, but I kind of come up with it as I go. So, yeah, I never know exactly what to say. Yeah, Diego? Okay. All right. Did everybody get that down? Yeah. Okay, beautiful. So right away, our brain should be starting to think of how many times 27 would go into 887. Now, remember, just like how Brady brought up, um, we can look at it as a whole, right, and kind of round it together, so 27 is close to 30, and then using 30, right, I can think of my multiples of 30, so um, 30 could go into 900 30 times, okay, so I can do it, I can look at it as a whole, or like Brady mentioned, I can split it up into place value, right, so does 27 go into 8? No. 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 Um, does 27 go into 88? Yes. Yeah. So let's go ahead and do that. Let's do that strategy. Um, you guys already know how to do like looking at it as a whole. Okay. Are we okay? Yeah. I see my shin on my desk. Oh. Okay. Do you need anything? No. I'm fine. Okay. Um, okay. So you guys already really know that because that's a lot of what we did last week. So you can, when it comes to your homework, you can decide how you want to do it. Okay. Um, but for right now as a class, let's do it this way, where we look at how many times 27 goes into 88, okay? Um, so, hold up with your fingers. How many times do you think 27 is going to go into 88? Give yourself time to think about it, and then hold up with your fingers, okay? Don't look at other people. Just think about you, whatever you think. Okay? With your fingers, hold up. How many times do you think 27 is going to go into 88? Can't wait until everybody gives me a, a guess. We'll wait until everybody gives me a guess. How many times do you think 27 is going to go into 88? Okay. Most of us have three, so let's try three. So 27 times three. You can write that off to the side. Um, class, what's three times seven? Go. 21. 21, good. What's three times two? Go. Six. 
six. six. Three times two is what? Six. six. Plus two. Eight. Eight. All right. Cool. Those of you who, have, who said four, I see where you were at. I see where you were at. That was a good guess. Um, but yeah, we are going to go with three. So 27 goes into 88 three times for 81. Then we subtract. Okay, go ahead and subtract that. What did you get for 88 minus 81? Seven. Seven. Good. Bring it on down and bring it on back. Okay. So 77 is now our our new number, if you will. Okay. Not really, but it's like our remainder, right? Um. Yes, Jackson. I have a question. How sure. did we subtract 887 by 81 and get 77? We are breaking it down by place value. That's the strategy that we're trying right now. Oh. So we said 27 does not go into 8, but it does go into 88. So we oh. kind of are ignoring the ones place right now, and this is what we're working with. So now we got to bring down the 7, and we got 77. Okay? Now think about how many times 27 would go into 77. And when you're ready, show me with your fingers how many times you think 27 is going to go into 77. Whatever you think. Don't look at other people. Just your guess only. This is supposed to be two. Why don't you just hold up a two so it's less than people. There you go. Okay, go with you. what you think, not what other people think. How many times does 27 go into 77? We're holding up fingers. Like how many times do you think? Just follow directions. I'm waiting for everybody to stop writing and look up here and just show me. Two, three, four, whatever you think. Okay. All right. Most of us are holding two, so let's try that. So 27 times two. Good. What is two times seven? Go. Fourteen. Fourteen. What's two times two? Go. Four. Plus one. Five. Five. Good. All right. Yeah. Based on prior knowledge, this being prior knowledge, we know that three would be too big, right? Mm -hmm. So those of you who guessed um, two, nice job. Yeah, three would be too big because it would equal 81, which is bigger than 77. So we got to go with the next one down, which is 27 times two. So put a two over the seven. What is 27 times two? Go. 54. 54. So put that underneath and go ahead and subtract. wild numbers. Ooh. Wow. They're all the if same just, number. If you just switch the thing to a red, oh, it's yeah. 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 So then to check, we would still have to do 32 times 27, okay? Um, and then we would add our remainder, okay? And you are going to be checking on your homework, though, so. Any questions on what we're doing today? No. Nope. I feel like you guys have a pretty good grasp on it. Those baby steps are helpful, right? Yeah. Okay. Can you put, um, well, I'll give you the choice. If you want to do whiteboard or notebook, okay, um, you're going to do this one on your own. So whiteboard or notebook, your choice. You have three minutes. Ready? Go. Three minutes is plenty of time. Place values, 
Don't be afraid to do that trial and error, okay? Have patience with yourself. That is up to you. Whatever is going to be easiest for you. Um, I mean, technically it's easiest to look at it like A and B first. Um, but if you want to use like a rounding, where we did like 37 runs to like 60, you know, that sort of thing. But I'm not saying you look at it as a whole. So, up to you, okay? I think it's easier to look at it as place value, but... multiply 47 by. You want to break it up into 83 divided by 47 first. I think that's a smart move. Um, so where, what do you write up here though first? How many times did 47 go? Yeah, there you go. Um, so then... So yeah, so then we have 36, and then every time we subtract, what's the next step? See, a lot of people who are doing repeated addition, um, don't be afraid to do standard algorithm multiplication, too, as your trial and error, okay? Repeated addition is fine, but it, with those big numbers, it might be kind of tough. So 283 to 369, that definitely could get out no more. 47 minutes. Okay, so try the next. Next one. Okay, how are we doing?
I know some of you are still finishing, but we got to move on. So 839 divided to. by 47. Huh? We have to move on? Yeah. Yeah. Unless you don't want to go to lunch on time. Oh, I want to go to lunch. Oh, I want to go to lunch. Yeah. So. All right. Math. Five. Four. Three. Two. One. Zero. All right. I would pause on your writing. And you're, you're thinking and you're mathing. And just look up here to make sure that you're at least got the steps. Okay. Um, so I, again, because I, I do think it's easier, um, doing it by place value is kind of how I'm going to go with it. But if you looked at it as a whole, that's okay. All right. Um, but can 47 go into 8? No. Can 47 go into 83? Yeah. 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 Okay, we're not as confident right now. So that, yes. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Can it, can yes. Pause. Pause. Now is your time to just check with me, okay? So you're going to stop your math, and you're going to kind of focus up here. Okay? Everybody pause. Pause. Okay. Can 47 go into 8? No. No. Hi, class. Hello. Good morning. Can 47 go into 8? No. No. Okay. Can 47 go into 83? Yeah. Um, show me with your fingers how many times do you think 47 will go into 83? This Okay. Um, cool. And you can show me down here too so you're, you know, you don't have to hold it up. Okay. Um, those of you who are saying one, why do you say one? You can raise your hand. Um, Henry, what do you think? Yeah. But it's over its Yeah, good. And so that's where your brain can play little tricks on you, right? It's like, oh, four and eight. It's probably two times, right? But this seven ones is what's going to get us, right? Um, so really, um, those of you who did 47 times two and found out it was only one time, what did you get for 47 times two? 47. Uh, really? um, I got... 94, yeah, so yeah. too big, right? So, too big. So it really does only go in once. Yep. So 47 times 1 equals what? 47. Thank you, Brady. Yeah. Class, 47 times 1 equals what? 47. 47, good. Next up is to subtract. Can I take 7 away from 3? No. no. Some of you are still missing this, okay? Mm -hmm. Some of you have to, you got to channel back to when we did our, um, like big subtraction problems last year, right? You cannot take a number away from a number that's smaller than it, right? So I cannot, I cannot have three and take seven away from that. That does not work. So I have to borrow from my friend the tens place. No matter where you're subtracting, that rule is still true, okay? Um, so I gotta take one away from my tens place. So that gives me seven tens. That one that I steal explodes into 10 and adds over here. So it becomes 13 minus 7. What is 13 minus 7? 7. 6. Six. Good. And what is 7 minus 4? Go. 3. 3. So I have 36. A lot of you were like, ah, oh, 47 doesn't go into 36, so my answer is 1 remainder 36. Nope. Nope, nope, nope. Okay. Um, after we subtract in dad, mom, sister, brother, what does the brother stand for? Bring down. So a lot of you forgot about our friend the nine. And it was sad. Okay, don't forget about him. Okay, so you gotta bring down the nine, then you can keep going. Okay, um, so let's see. I want to think about how many times 47 is gonna go into 369. So, whoa, hello, bookshelf. Um, so again, don't be like fifth grade Miss Wit and be like, well, I'm just gonna throw a random number out there and multiply 47 by that and hope that it's close enough. Nope. Nope. I'm teaching you guys smart rationale of how to estimate how many times, okay? So 47 is pretty close to 50, okay? Um, 369 is pretty close to 350 um, or 400, however you want to look at it. So 50 would go into um, 350 how many times? Seven times. Seven times. In, hold on. Whoa. Stop. So then, so then listen, okay? 47 is close to 50. 
369 is close to 350. So 100 is 250s, right? So that's 250s. Going up to 200, that's 450s. Going up to 300, that's 650s. And then 350 is one more 50. So oh. 750s gets me close to 350. So I'm going to try that. Okay, so 47 times 7. Okay, what's 7 times 7? 49. 49. 49. Okay, what is 7 times 4? Go. 28. Plus 4, go. 32. Okay, 32. Um, do you think I can add one more 47 in there? No. No. Because I need 40 more to get from 329 to 369. So it's, it would be too big, right? Yep. So 47 times 7 is what I'm going to go with. So 47 times 7 is 329. Okay. Subtract. What is 9 minus 9? Zero. Zero. 6 minus 2? Four. Four. Good. And remember, my remainder cannot be bigger than my divisor, right? So I'm in, mm -hmm. I'm in the clear. So my answer is 17, remainder 40. Yep. Yep. Okay. Questions on that? Great. I don't know what I did, so. Um, that's okay. And, uh, so 369 and then minus, and then, wait, you got 329? Mm -hmm. And then I got, um, somehow I got 335-er. Uh, you got 335. Um, and you got five as a remainder. No, or? five as like. Oh, okay. Like how you got one and then seven. Yeah, so five. I would check your multiplication again. Like 47 times five oh. would would be less than 329, right? So, Kira. Isn't the remainder 19? Um, I here's my subtraction. I did nine minus nine, which is zero, oh. and then six minus. Two is four. I see where I went. Two, four, yeah. yeah. Uh, okay. That's okay. I'm glad you asked, though. That's good. Um, Lily? Um, when I did it, I did 47 times four. Okay. And, um, like, that was the first one I did? Yeah. And, uh, so I did 47 times five. Mm -hmm. your number sense guys I cannot tell you enough do not be do not do what I learned when I was her age do not look at okay I got to figure out how many times 47 goes into 369 uh, I'm just gonna multiply 47 by, by 4 and see if that yeah. gets me close enough because That's then good. then what happens with that my friends let's say you said 47 times 3 which we know it's not right but let's say we're like okay let's just multiply it by 3 and see how close I get right um so 3 times 4 is 12 plus 2 is equal 14. Um, like, then, then what I'm afraid of, and this is what would happen to me, okay, you would look at that and be like, eh, 141 is close enough. And then you yeah. go and subtract it, and you have this, like, major remainder that's way bigger than your divisor, so it's, like, super incorrect, okay? So use that number sense. Round those numbers in your head. Okay, 47 is pretty close to 50. 369 is pretty close to... 350, right? Think about how many 50s make up 350. Use that as a ballpark, okay? And then let's say we said, okay, there's seven 50s in 350. So we did 47 times seven. And we were like, okay, that's pretty close, but there might, maybe I can squeeze one more 47 in there. I don't know, right? You can add 47 to that and check, right? Um, or you can do a separate multiplication problem and be like, okay, so I know that 47 times 7 would work, but let's just check. Let's just check, right? And you would go through um, and, oops, can I talk and multiply this in here? So 32, so I'm sorry. Yeah. So, um, you know, don't be afraid to check. Take the extra minute to check, okay? Uh, Leela, go. Lily? Um, so before we were doing this, um, I would do um, 